right. So it's been uh, it's been a few weeks since I've actually done uh, an actual recording of an FSD video. I put up a little interaction we had between FSD and a deer in Nicey Roads. Uh, so I'm just going for a quick drive to get a snack to uh, McDonald's. Please don't judge. It's late at night. I need some quick food. Been working all day. Uh, so just trying FSD beta out here while it's snowing. I don't think I have a video yet of like live snow uh, going on and I actually haven't done much FSD driving um, with like it actually snowing. So I have, I have a feeling FSD is probably going to try to deact. Well, if it does deactivate, I don't think it'll let me uh, reactivate it. That typically happens when um, the wipers start detecting that the weather's pretty poor. So we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll, we'll see how it does here. So far, so good. So the car slowed down for the intersection, but there's no stop sign. So it feels like it's being uh, pretty cautious. So obviously uh, FSD is pretty amazing. It can, it can be uh, not so amazing sometimes, but when I, the reason I'm saying it's amazing is because it's, a, uh, it's obviously adapting to uh, this type of weather. weather. There are no lane lines. Uh, this is fresh snow. The car is adapting to the banks at the side of the road. And uh, yeah, doing a really good job. So this is actually a 30, so I'm just gonna bring it up to 30. That was at 25. So the, the car's been, um, this car, the car's speed control, it just feels like Tesla hasn't worked on it uh, for, <laughs> for, I don't know, two years. <laughs> um, so in my, uh, in, in these residential streets, I know it's 30, although they don't have signs up all the time. Uh, but the car seems to default to 40. So right now it's saying 40 kilometers per hour and there's a 30 coming up here. So hopefully it'll update. Okay, it slowed down here for reasons that I don't understand. Okay, so it detected the 30 and it uh, naturally put my offset. I'm just gonna keep it down to 30 considering the weather. So what I could do as well, if I feel like uh, there's too much snow that starts to accumulate on the windshield, I can always put the uh, windshield washer fluid, um, or I can just blast the, uh, the heat up front. <laughs> so far so good. So we have a few residential streets here and uh, afterwards essentially uh, we'll be turning right onto a little bit higher speed road. So if, okay, the car's slowing down for no reason here. Let's just take a quick look at how the cameras are doing. So the side repeaters look all right. The rear camera is having a little bit of trouble. So again, the car's stopping for this intersection or slowing down, sorry, uh, but there's no stop sign but uh, considering the conditions that actually felt really uh, safe. So good job, Tesla. Here they're doing a little bit of uh, construction for the, uh, what we call the REM. It's like a light, light, high, speed, light high speed rail. So this is the, the end of the station in uh, Dermontagne, Quebec at the end of the station going to, uh, so it'll be like a direct uh, transport to downtown Montreal, which will be pretty sweet. So high speed rail down to, uh, down to Montreal. Okay, so what I've been noticing is every time the car is accelerating from a stop, it's doing so very cautiously and very slowly, which is actually a good thing because my car has a tendency to uh, slip. So, and when it does slip, FSD deactivates. And I don't think it's gonna come back. So we're gonna see how far we can go. There is no way I have seen any other self-driving type of company, whether it be Waymo or Cruise, uh, show any type of sign that they're gonna be supporting this type of winter driving. So for those who don't know uh, Waymo, Waymo is 
I believe it's it's Google's self-driving program. It's probably a part of uh, the like Alphabet uh, company now. Uh, so Weibo is, is mostly, let's say, a Google software. Uh, Cruise is another big player. Uh, Cruise is uh, GM, I think, is invested in Cruise. So uh, and I believe Cruise and Waymo both have uh, driverless cars driving around San Francisco right now. I think there's some conditions like uh, only in uh, non-rainy weather. Okay, this is like really poor visibility. And the cars so far so good. I'm just gonna have to make sure to keep the speed down when it tries to auto adjust. So please don't slip here. Just take it slow. There's no need to do a speed boost. Yeah, that was good, although it's... Let it go into the snow accumulation. Oh, this is not good. It's going... It's hitting ice. Okay, so I'm going... It's, it's letting me reactivate. Oh, good. It's letting me reactivate FSD. Okay, so uh, I think what's happening here... Th this is kind of like a parking area for cars and for, uh, and for cyclists. So the car kind of got stuck in this lane uh, because there's no lane lines. It, it felt like probably the, car, the road was wide enough for two cars. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of doing some off-roading because they haven't cleared out some, some ice accumulation on the side of the road. So, okay, so I'm going to really bring down the speed to the uh, speed limit. So here we have a 30, although it's, it's a 30 that... Um, that's 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 only taking into account certain times of the day. It's for the school here. Okay, so the car's trying to go to the right again. <sighs> Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna correct it. Uh, I think I lost FSD. Okay, there are no cars behind me. What I'm gonna try to do is just put the car in park and see if I can reactivate FSD. This is a secret trick. So I've done this before, just let it at a stoplight um, park, and sometimes it's long enough for uh, for the car to, to come back. For uh, sorry, for FSD to come back. So I just want to reactivate it because we're gonna have a left turn at an intersection. So I'd be curious to see how it actually does with this poor visibility. Okay. So, it's letting me... is it? Okay, it just uh, <laughs> felt like it was about to deactivate. Okay, so the wipers are going kind of crazy. So, Tesla is still having issues with uh, auto wipers and winter driving. Okay. <laughs> so, we can see absolutely Nothing here, so I'm keeping my hands right by the steering wheel. Okay, and we're gonna bring down that speed. Okay, so I do know this is a two-lane road, so chances are it's gonna be cleared off here to the right. Although we're gonna be taking a left, and typically FSD Beta likes to take the leftmost lane when it's uh, performing a left. Although I think it's tried to do it from the right here with these latest updates. I forget if I mentioned I'm on FSD beta 10.69.25.1. And uh, so I think some people are on 25.2 now and we're, we're still impatiently awaiting FSD version 11 for FSD on the highway. Okay, so it's taking the left lane here. Good judgment. Is it? Okay. All good. So I'll give you guys the full screen visualization. We're getting close to our destination. Guilty pleasure. McDonald's, although I haven't eaten much uh, all day. This will be good. Okay, so the car's creeping up. I'm not sure why. We have a red light here. Okay, so it felt like the car was assuming that it was a flashing red light. So it was, it was, it was actually handling this like if it was a stop sign. So I put it back in park just to give me a chance to maybe reactivate FSD beta. 
Uh, okay, so that was really strange. I, maybe because of the uh, low visibility or the, you know, like the snow kind of covering and not covering the lights, the car's thinking they're flashing red lights, maybe. Okay. So, I reactivated FSD beta. There are no cars behind me. I'm just gonna give it a bit of a push. So there's a bank to the left. Okay, that, that was not good. Okay, so I'm thinking we're uh, starting to hit FSD beta's current limits. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, bring down the speed. It's gonna have to go to the rightmost lane now. It's having a lot of difficulty trying to gauge where the limits of the road are. Right lane, right lane star. Okay, so my GPS got deactivated. Okay, maybe that was me. All right, so um, okay. Let's see if it does this. So it's saying we're turning right in thirty meters. Easy wipers. Okay, so this is a deep brain neural network handling uh, <laughs> trying to handle the winter. Okay, I, I know Tesla will get there. They have they have an amazing team, but uh, it's just kind of funny to see the the, the in between. Okay, so FSD is gonna try to do a left turn and hopefully not hit a curb. Okay, so we're doing drifts. So that was uh, FSD beta during like a real live snowstorm. Uh, it did some things good, some things not so well. Uh, I don't think it can handle these kind of like wide lane situations with, with zero visibility. Not yet, not yet. So these are cameras and uh, neural networks, right? And in theory, the neural networks can get there. Humans can do it. So why can't the cameras? All right, so thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop it there and grab my, uh, my guilty pleasure. <laughs>